Hey, this is Mike with RPS Solar Pumps. We've gotten a lot of solar questions over the last couple of months. Today I'm going to go through those and answer some of the most common questions. Today's question is, do solar pumps work in the winter? So the short answer is yes, solar pumps work just fine in the winter, but if you are going to pump over the winter time, when you're setting up your system and planning, there's a couple of considerations we want to take into account to make sure it's going to work reliably over the winter time. So with our solar panels, they are gathering light from the sun. So after a big snowstorm, you might need to go out and dust off your panels so they can begin gathering light again. What other customers do is sometimes they place their sun angle of their panels slightly higher, more vertical. That also helps in the winter when the sun is lower in the sky, the panels will collect more sunlight, but they also find that the snow helps slump off the panels and so they don't have to go out and clean them as much. Also, when initially planning out your system in a freezing environment, there's a couple of things we want to take into account to make sure our pipes don't freeze. And there's a few different options we can use here. First of all, if you're going open discharge, say into a stock tank or storage tank, then you can have a self-draining system by not installing a check valve in your pump or by putting a weep hole into your drop pipe. And that'll allow the water to run back out of your line. And so when the pump is done pumping, all the water drains, and then during a hard freeze, it doesn't freeze in your lines and break up. The other thing you can do in a freezing environment is you can use what's called a pitless adapter. And a good thing about a pitless adapter is it keeps all of your plumbing down below the frost line. And so with a pitless adapter, we dig down below our well casing, and we want to go below the frost line for your specific area. Sometimes that's between three and five feet. But the good news is all the plumbing's below the frost line, so there's no possibility of it freezing. So another consideration for wintertime pumping is because the sun's lower in the sky and our day is shorter, we're in general going to have less water than in summer. And so in all our sizing tools, we plan for six hours of pumping a day, which is safe for wintertime. And in summer, you're going to get more like eight to 10 hours of pumping a day. But with that less sun in the sky, there's a couple of steps you can take. A is you can tilt your panels up more, like I mentioned before, that'll help gather more sunlight. But we also have backup options, whether we're using batteries or a generator. And this is also great because in the winter time, you're more likely to have some cloud cover. And so having these either water storage or power backup options are great if you have to get out and pump some water. So solar pumps are gonna work for you great all winter long, but with a little upfront planning, you're gonna be able to make sure you have consistent water supply, whether you have a hard freeze, a snowstorm, or extended cloud coverage. If you have any solar questions, leave them in the comments below and they'll be featured in a future video or we'll answer them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're producing new content every week, so hit that notification button and subscribe to the videos to stay up to date on the latest solar pumping news.